Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Carson Meredith. Carson, you're really good at explaining the weather, maybe even wow. good at explaining it to some kiddos. I tell you, Megan, that is one of my favorite parts of this yes. job is going out to schools and talking about weather. I got to do that yesterday. Check this out. We were at Juliet Newman Elementary over in Athens yesterday. We talked to the third graders at that school, about 80 of them. We started off with that big presentation. Ooh. We talked about tornadoes. We talked about tornado watches, tornado warnings, how you can be safe, best places to take shelter during tornadoes. And once we were done with the talk, we got to go outside to check out Storm Tracker 31, powered by Lynn Layton Chevrolet. There you see all the kiddos heading out of the auditorium to check out that With the waves, brand of course. New. All the waves, of course. You know, they're going to be on TV. So there's a look inside Storm Tracker 31. We got all kinds of gadgets and gizmos. We were talking about a big flat screen TV that we have mounted in the back of the car. So maybe if we're ever just out in the community, we can show stuff on TV. I want to tell you what, Megan, they yes. had so many great questions. Oh. There's our little 3 1 right there. They had so many great questions. They were so engaged. They knew a lot about tornadoes and storms. Mm -hmm. Really a fun time yesterday in Athens. I love it. I bet there's a, a group of future meteorologists there. I sure hope so. And hey, if you ever want to visit to your school or to your community group, mm -hmm. Megan, go to our website, waytv.com. Yeah. The little sign up sheet and maybe we'll be able to get to your community event down the road. Really, really cool. And back here in North Alabama this morning, we had a lot of sunshine to talk about yesterday, and we have the same thing once again today. That's the view of the Way 31 SkyCam Network. Temperatures have surged since we were last on air this morning. We were waking up in the mid-40s, and now we're in the mid-70s. 74 in Huntsville, 75 in the Shoals, 72 in Guntersville right now. And, of course, the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network is nice and quiet. It's going to stay that way all day, of course. Look at your forecast high, the warmest of the week, going with 84 later on. But just as quickly as we warm things up, we will quickly cool things down once that sun goes down. 77 by 6 o'clock tonight and already down to 63 by 9 o'clock tonight. Big game Friday night, of course, right around the corner. Tomorrow night, we will call it a touchdown forecast. More of this quiet weather staying with us and it's good old-fashioned football weather tomorrow night. Kickoff temperature 70 degrees, 67 by halftime and 64 by the fourth quarter. Now, tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night, there will be a cold front moving through. It's not going to have much with it, no rain expected, but you'll notice on future radar, especially by the time we get to Friday morning, we'll start to have a few clouds in southern Tennessee, and eventually that cloud cover expands across all of North Alabama. Again, that's all you're going to see with this cold front tomorrow afternoon, but it's going to take some time for that cooler air behind the front to move in. You really won't notice it until during the daytime hours on Saturday. Look at this temperature nose dive over the next few days. We go from 84 today to 81 tomorrow, all the way down to 70 for your high temperature on Saturday. Keep in mind that's here in Huntsville. If you're outside of the city, there is a very good chance that you will be stuck in the 60s all day on Saturday. Overnight low Saturday night, Sunday morning near 40. Could have some frost. First frost of the season expected Sunday morning in the higher terrain. And then we'll start to moderate those temperatures a little bit in the upper 70s, close to 80 for most of next week. And as we look ahead to the next two weeks, so through October 19th, you notice our temperature outlook has that blue on the map. That of course means that our trends are suggesting will be a little bit cooler than normal for the second half of October. Of course, we'll keep a close eye on those treads. Keep in mind our average high this time of year is near 80 degrees. Those overnight lows are typically in the mid 50s. So as you look at that seven day forecast staying very, very quiet, but we do need the rain. Unfortunately, there's no rain chances in sight. 84 today. We dropped to near 70 on Saturday. If we have that frost potential in the higher elevations Sunday morning, and then we'll climb back into the 80s for most of next week. Overnight lows in the 50s. But as far as rain chances, like we talked about, Megan, not much on the way anytime soon. Ooh.